Hey guys, I'm Danny, one of the small group leaders here at Ray's Mill, and welcome to RM Kids Online. We kicked the month of February off in Ephesians 4.23, where Paul said, Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Jesus has done. Even when we were separated from God, he showed us kindness through sending Jesus to not only rescue us, but also model for us how we could have kindness in our very own lives. I was just 10 years old when we first moved to Prosper. I remember my dad had just gotten this new job as the senior pastor of this church called Ray's Mill. I was super excited about all the new places and adventures and possibilities I was gonna have, but I was also super nervous. I was normally this really confident person and I love talking to people, but the idea of having to make all these new friends and meet all these people really made me anxious. The only lucky thing about it was that we had moved at the very beginning of summer. So I just finished fourth grade and I didn't have to worry about school just yet. But to this day, I can still remember my first day of Sunday school. My immediate thought when I walked into church was, man, my sisters are so lucky. And it was because they were both going into youth group and so they got to go to class together, whereas I had to go to class all by myself. And so me being the person I am, I initially walked into class and I was like, yes, I'm gonna be so confident and I'm gonna meet all these new people and it's gonna be fantastic. But then I walked through the doors and I was like, man, I don't know anybody in here. I'm the only girl in here. Like, how am I gonna make friends? And I immediately was just overwhelmed with all this anxiety and I was just so scared. But immediately when I walked through the doors, there was Miss Julie Vest. Um, and she was my Sunday school teacher, and to this day also one of the best teachers I've ever had. But she welcomed me with open arms and was like, hey, I know you're pretty nervous, but there are some awesome kids in here, let me introduce you. And so immediately she started introducing me to all these people that today, some of them are still my best friends. And that day was an amazing day. I remember walking out of class being like, man, I had so much fun and I feel like this is really gonna be an awesome place. I'm so excited that this is the place I'm at. That day, Ms. Vest showed me an enormous, amazing amount of kindness. Not just because she's an awesome, fantastic person, but because that is the example that God had set for her. We need to be kind to others because God was kind to us first. That day, Ms. Vest showed me an enormous, amazing amount of kindness not just because she's an awesome, fantastic person, but because that is the example that God had set for her. We need to be kind to others because God was kind to us first. As we follow Jesus and find ways to reflect his love to the people around us, we need to remember that kindness is one of the easiest ways for us to do that. God has been so incredibly kind to us that we need to remember to be kind to not only the people around us, but also the people that we meet. Also, parents, don't forget we have something for you. If you'll scroll down and click the Parent Packets link below, you will receive some activities and questions that will help you reinforce this week's bottom line. Next to it, you will find our God Times devotionals. These are for the week. They are to help your child develop the habit of spending time with God each day. All right, guys, I want to encourage y'all to be really kind to all the people that you interact with this week. And I'll see you later. When you hear kind, what comes to mind? A snack bar? A good word of the month at school? A great catchphrase for a t-shirt? Kindness can be all those things, but it can't stop there.
Kindness isn't something you wear on the outside. It's what comes from the inside. Kindness chooses to slow down and see the value in someone else, even if you are upset, tired, or in a hurry. Kindness chooses to treat everyone like they're made in the image of God, even if they're different, overlooked, or unloving. See, when you choose kindness, you choose your words wisely. I can't believe you did that! Ah! I'm sorry you had a rough day. How can I help? When you choose kindness, you offer it to everyone. From your family and friends, to that grouchy old neighbor, and that kid at school you can't stand. When you choose kindness, others see the love of God shining through you. That's why kindness is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Woo! Got a rhythm in my heart and in my soul. Got a reason for this joy I can't control. I wanna sing, I wanna dance, and give everyone a chance to hear about this in this love I know. What you give to me is not for me to keep, it's for the world to see your love. Everybody knows that's a trap. I can't believe you did that. What? Oh, that's 
so awesome. Hey, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. Woo! Did you know that an estimated 145 million greeting cards will be sent this month? Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, people have said that the greeting card is a go in the way of the dinosaur, a dodo bird, or gremlin cereal. Ha, ha, classic. But I say no, I'm a huge fan of greeting cards. Me too. And do you know who else I'm a fan of? Who? Oh. Mail carriers who deliver those cards. So, it's time to play Rain, Snow, or Hail. You still get your mail. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, these are nice blue shirts. Here's how this works. Brandon and I are gonna climb aboard our mail mobiles and deliver greeting cards filled with kind words to the mail baskets you see here. The first person to deliver a card to all three of these destinations wins. Sounds kind of easy. <laughs> oh, well, I forgot to mention the snow, hail, and rain. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, you did. You did forget to mention that. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Go. <laughs> Oh, oh, the rain. Man. Oh, it's Woo! snowing. It's warm, warm water. Oh, hey! Oh, oh, I got two. Woo! We're tied, we're tied. I'm getting so wet. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! You know what? I think I'm done with this game. Yeah, me too. So, Brandon. Yeah, John? We're gonna address the uh, Hans in the room? Oh, I think we should. <laughs> Me too. Ha! 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 Hans? Hans. 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 That is my name. Do not allow it to slowly erode through over usage. Uh, everyone, this is our friend Hans. Uh, he thought it would enhance the overall sound atmosphere of the show if we had a studio audience, so... This is correct. So we put him in charge of getting one together. Yeah, th then we had second thoughts, so we tried to call him to cancel, but apparently Hans doesn't have a phone. This is correct. Ha, 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 et cetera. What? Ha, 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 et ha, <laughs> What's so funny? Did you bring your own sign holder? He comes with me everywhere. He's very quiet. Why are you the only person in the audience? Ah, I called some people, but no one came. I thought you didn't have a phone. This is correct. I do not have a phone. But I do have a window. Hello, people. I am Hans Decibel, audio engineer. You will come to a show with me. You will have a great laugh. Ha, ha. But no one came. But not to fear. I brought a dummy and a change of clothes for variety. We're gonna get back to the show. Yeah. Yay! <sighs> It's uh, Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hurrah! And more phrases like this. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Did I say something funny? No. We've got a Hans in the studio audience. Yeah! You 
have a studio audience? Yeah, but don't get used to it. Boo! Take it away, Kellen. All right, then. It's cool that we have a fan in the audience today because it actually goes along with what we're talking about. The truth is, we can all use a fan sometimes, right? When we're feeling down or when we've messed up, it helps that we have people in our lives who are kind of like our cheerleaders. Oh, that's our cue, oh, Jack. I heard it, Dee Dee. We're here for you, Kellen! Yeah, go Kellen! Woo! And sometimes it helps to have actual cheerleaders. This is Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. They are here to cheer us on. But not only that, they're here to help teach us how to be cheerleaders for others. Does that sound about right? Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're... Jackie, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this, Dee Dee. to one another. Sometimes that's all it takes to be someone's cheerleader. Just be kind. But don't take my word for it. Here's what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Ephesians. Be kind and tender to one another. Sounds simple. And it can be, especially if you're being kind to people who are kind to you. But Paul goes on. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Sometimes people aren't kind to you. They're rude even. How do you respond? Are you kind and forgiving like Paul wrote? Or are you rude back? What do you say, cheer squad? Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Dee Dee. What do you say when you gotta forgive someone? Oh, I say this. I forgive you. I forgive you. Not because it is time, but for what Christ has done. I forgive you. I forgive you. Woo! We should be kind and forgive not because it's easy and not even because someone has earned it. We do it because of what God did for us. He sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. Now, that wasn't easy and we definitely didn't deserve it. But that's how much God loves us. That's how kind he is. And that's why we should be kind to each other. Well, help us remember what we've learned, cheer squad. You ready, Jackie? I was born ready, Dee Dee. You know what they say. No one minds when you're being kind. Here we, Here go. we go. K I N D N E S S. K I N D N E S S. What? Can you do when someone's life's a mess? K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. How can you help them with all that stress? K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. It's not always easy, this I must confess. K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. -S. But we should do it because of God's faithfulness. K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. Woo! K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S is how God expects us to treat one another with kindness. Now, let's give it up for the cheer squad. Yay! Go cheer squad! Go cheer squad! Great job, cheer squad. Way to go. Go cheer squad! Kindness sounds so simple when it's in a cheer. Yeah, but we know it can be hard. Kindness is one of those things where the more you do it, the easier it gets. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll see you guys on the flip side. You know what? He's right. Kindness does get easier the more you do it. So I'm going to start right now. Hans, I'm sorry. I should be more kind to you. You really are a great audience member. That's just great. Pour my heart out like that for nothing. Well, hey, you know what they say. No one minds when you're being kind. <gasps> you're right! <laughs> oh, reveal the question! 
What does kindness look like? Oh, it looks like this. Yeah. Uh, it could also look like giving up your place in line or saying please and thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Or, or it can be big stuff, too, like uh, letting go of a grudge and forgiving someone. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hans is back. Yay! Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I... I, I... Well, I think that's our show. And it was a good one. You did great, John. Yeah, hey, so did you, Brandon. Thank and you. so did you, Hans. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah, see you next week. Aloha. Woo!